Section 3.1 Systems of Equations. A system of equations is two or more equations with the same variables. In this video, you'll learn the vocabulary consistent versus inconsistent and independent versus dependent as it pertains to systems of equations, and we'll talk about special solutions. We've talked about three ways to solve systems of equations. One is graphing, one is elimination, and one is substitution. There's a few new vocabulary words to go with the systems. First, we have inconsistent and consistent. A system is consistent if it has at least one solution. So it can either have one solution or infinitely many solutions. A system is inconsistent if it has no solutions. To remember this, think about what the definition of consistent means. Compatible or in agreement with something. So a point is consistent because it agrees with both of the equations. Infinite points are consistent because infinite points agree or make both equations true. Within consistent systems of equations, we have independent, where there is one solution, and dependent, where the variables depend on each other, so we have an infinite number of solutions. These vocabulary words are easiest to recognize with graphs. When you have parallel lines, in other words, two lines with the same slope and different y-intercepts, we know that we have no solutions because the lines never cross. This is inconsistent. When we have two lines with different slopes, regardless of their y-intercept, because we could cross at the y-intercept or cross at a different point, we have a consistent and independent system of equations. And we'll see the graph cross at one point. That's our one solution. When we have the same exact line with the two equations, we have a consistent and dependent system of equations. If we're given the two equations, you might be able to figure out just from looking at it what will happen. You might notice that these are the same equations, but they'll have a different y-intercept. This is much easier to see when you isolate y, and you see that these lines will be parallel. But if we were to solve the system algebraically, I would use elimination here. So I would multiply one of my equations by negative 1, which means I'll change the signs on everything, and then I'll add my equations together. I get 0x plus 0y equals negative 2. In other words, 0 equals negative 2. Because I got a false statement, I know that these lines will never cross, they will not have a solution, and therefore, the system of equations is inconsistent. If I were to solve this system of equations, I might be able to tell right away that one equation is just double the other. But if not, I would solve it using elimination. So I'm going to take my entire second equation and multiply it by negative 2. This means that my first equation still exists, 4x minus 2y equals 8, and my second one becomes negative 4x plus 2y equals negative 8. When I solve this algebraically, I get 0 equals 0. This is true. When my variables cancel out and I get a true statement, that means that I have the same exact equation. Therefore, the graph would look like one line in my system is consistent and dependent. Finally, let's look at a system that does have one solution. I could solve this system using any method, and I'm going to choose elimination. I chose to multiply my first equation by negative 2 so that my y's would cancel out. When I did this, I got x equals 0. I substituted that into the first equation, the original one, and I found that y equals negative 4, so my solution is 0, negative 4. Because this has one solution, I know that my graph will cross at one point, and I will have a consistent and independent system of equations. And our solution is this point right here, 0, negative 4, where the lines cross. So to summarize, if we have an inconsistent system of equations, our graph looks like two parallel lines. That means we have the same slope, but different y-intercepts. We have no solutions, and when we solve it algebraically, 
we get a contradiction, so a number equals a different number. If we have a system that is consistent, it has at least one solution. So a consistent and independent system has exactly one solution. That is the intersection point on the graph. And when we solve it, we get a unique ordered pair that works in both equations. If we have a consistent and dependent system of equations, the graph looks like one line because really both equations are exactly the same, same y-intercept and same slope. We have an infinite number of solutions, and if we solve it algebraically, we get a true statement like 0 equals 0. If you're having trouble solving systems algebraically, you should watch another video on substitution and elimination.